So one thing that you like to do, especially when the weight gets heavy, is a mixed grip form, which is fine, but you're just bringing it up. We don't want to bring it up. What we want to do in our position is we want to work on what's called our first pull, right? So from the mixed grip standpoint, it's just about that speed. And the reason for this is so that we can accelerate into what's known as the second pull, right? And the second pull is going to be you coming up and you're accelerating past the knees, you're shrugging your shoulders and loading that bar into your hips to where you can use your hips to pop the bar up onto your belt. So again, slow, first pull, nice and slow, accelerate, shrug and pop, right? So if we go fast, you're here, we're utilizing that hip to create a moment of weightlessness for us to catch our axle on our belt versus standing all the way up with it with no hip contact and we're essentially using all of our bicep, our upper back, it gets tiring. So the more you can use, utilize your hips, the easier it's gonna be. Also, to allow yourself to get in this position a little bit better, you don't wanna be in a standard deadlift stance for your axle. You actually want to be shoulders over bar. So the way I like to set it up is I like to kind of get those quads involved, get down into my deadlift, a little forward lean, up, hip, and then it's up. Now obviously it's really light so I can utilize my hips to pop it really high. But if we're trying to get to just a belt clean angle, then we're going to be mixed grip, shoulders over bar, up, hips, right there. And then we can come up top. Now from this position in the top, working on the push jerk, the easiest way to work a push jerk is once you get your feet lined up, we're in our nice front rack position, you want to think about jumping down. Me personally, I actually, my feet leave the ground just ever so slightly. And the way I like to be I like to be in this position here and then head through over top and stand up. Sometimes what will end up happening is your feet might come a little out. It all depends on what your body's doing. But um, ideally, yes, once that bar is up here, think about jumping down, right? We squat down and we jump down. That's a good place for you to start until you're able to just naturally come under that bar as it's weightless, right? So with the barbell, utilizing everything we just talked about, right here, shoulder over bar, pop, easy clean, right? Then from here, get that nice tight front rack position. Slight bend in the knees, utilizing our rebound, right? Down. One more again, just on a push jerk angle for bending down. Just like such. Easiest way to drill this, especially if you're gonna do mixed grip, right? So it's a three part, three part drill. Like such. I like to have my feet roughly shoulder width apart. And then from here, it's just shoulder over bar. I like to squat down, deadlift. That's step one. Next one's a high pull. Well, I like to use it with a double overhand, right? So here, deadlift, high pull. And then you can put it all together. Readjust to how you need. In. Good. Hope that helps.